Hey, I'm John. Welcome to Mr. G's Workbench. And today we're going to do a rare open box uh, review of this kit. Can I fit it all in? Kitty Hawk's Mirage 2000D slash N. Uh, it's the two-seater. Uh, I've built the single-seater already uh, previously. Uh, it was a fairly enjoyable kit. The only issue I had with the whole thing was uh, one side of the canopy had a short shot. No, it was the fuselage. Apologies. One side of the fuselage had a short shot. I fixed it and worked with it. Uh, and the other thing was that uh, the directions didn't give you much clarity in terms of uh, pylons, weapons, and stuff like that. So let's see if they've made any changes and listen to any feedback at all uh, from the single seater. Let's take a look at the two seater now, okay? All right, sorry for the uh, little circular thing there. This isn't Warner Brothers, so you gotta work with the light I got, all right guys? Uh, again, this will be the first time I'm taking a look at what's in this box. Main reason I wanted to do it was that I really haven't seen too many uh, open box reviews of this particular kit. So let's get into this. Uh, all right. Uh, before we look at the instructions, let's just take a look at what we're getting in the box. And let's take this and do it one, one screw at a time. All right. All right, so far so good, no loose parts. Uh, the fuselage for the two-seater is a completely new fuselage. Uh, the single-seater was split like right here somewhere, I think. So this actually doesn't look bad at all. Uh, compared to my single-seater, there's no short shots. The, uh, the molding on the cockpit looks reasonably good. Not going to lie, I'm, I'm probably going to get... Uh, Quinta Studios came out with... Uh, some 3D uh, cockpit stuff. Uh, I'll probably spring for that because you'll be able to see a lot of it. But the molding on the uh, individual instrument panels isn't all that bad. I don't know. We'll see if there's decals and stuff to go with it. But uh, this doesn't look bad at all. So you've got the... Uh, that's the divider between the front and back, I know. You've got the firewall for the back. Uh... I don't see any of the control sticks or anything here, so that's probably on another sprue. So that's what we're getting here. Uh, doesn't look like much is molded on the inside there. Next, all right. Again, nothing, no loose parts in there. All right, we're gonna get the uh, we got a intake. Uh, one intake side there. We've got two different uh, nose cones here because I'm betting that uh, this is going to go with that to make uh, one version's nose. That's going to be the other version nose. Uh, then we've got a bunch of other stuff on here. Looks like it's going to go underneath. Uh, and I'm guessing, I don't know, this could all be part of the nose. No idea. We'll find out later. So, again, you know, Kitty Hawk stuff always looks good, in, you know, on the sprues. But what we get out of it later is going to be the question. Let's see. Again, no loose parts. Happy day so far. And two more intakes. So, obviously, the other one is going to be for a variant. Uh, we've got the ailerons, the leading edge slats on here. The other part of these are for the intakes, uh, the splitter plates for the intakes, the flaps. Uh, I don't think that's the ex that's probably part of the intakes as well. It's got the air brake uh, bays, uh, the actuators for the flaps and ailerons. Everything looks. Uh, like I said, everything always looks good on the sprues. I, I'm not going to take these out. It's it's the the gas tanks, uh, the ejection seats are on here. 
Uh, what else is on here? That's mostly the stuff for the ejection seats. You've got the front, uh, the front gear wheels are here. The main gear wheels are here. Uh, basically everything that you need two of is in here. The guns and uh, other stuff that I can't readily identify. All here. Then we've got uh, another double sprue set here, which looks like some weapons. Uh, I think this is an electronics pod. Is it a Damocles pod or something? I don't know. Uh, we'll figure that out later. We've got some missiles, uh, more missiles, uh, missiles, rockets. Uh, all this will be made apparent when we look at the directions. Then we've got two sprues with pylons. Uh, I believe this was an infrared pod, one of these. Uh, this looks like the same sprue from the single-seater. Yeah, it even says Mirage 2000C on it. So this is a carryover from the single-seater. Alright, let's take a look at this. because This is, again, I think this is a carryover from the single-seater. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, it's Mark C. Now this was the problem in in the C kit, and I'll be curious to see if they adjusted it here. I mean, they're nice enough to give you all these variations on the uh, fin tip for you know different uh, different countries, different versions. Uh, whether or not they're going to actually tell you which one goes with which version is to be seen. So, but they're on there. And everything else looks like uh, gears, uh, gear bay, uh, legs, gear legs, uh, radar. I believe these are the walls of the gear bays. Uh, it's, a again, all well molded. And I'll, s you know what, we'll take it out. Let's, if we're going to do this, let's do it right, right? I can hear you yelling at me through your computer. And I apologize for taking the easy way out. So you've got the engine here, which, you know, typical Kitty Hawk, they, they make the engine look nice. Uh, they give you the, the where the exhaust is. They actually put the ribbing inside and everything. It'll, it looks good. If you do it right and take your time, it looks good. Here's the bottom of the nose gear bay, I believe. And the side walls, the main gear, uh, the nose gear door, uh, the intake fan, the exhaust, the nose gear leg is here, and some of the engine detail crap that nobody puts on because you're never going to see it again. So there's that. And then here you get the, this is the same resin exhaust that Kitty Hawk gave in the, uh, in the C. Now I've heard tales of some of these being victims of shrinkage. Uh, I, I obviously I can't tell just by looking at it, but uh, I'll certainly examine it. Uh, I may spring for the res kit uh, replacement if there's any fit issue with that. And then the last thing we have here are the wings. And uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but the molding, the detail on the wings is beautiful. And if you can maintain that detail after you get everything assembled, uh, even better for you. So, uh, you know, my experience on the C was that the wings fit very well. I was very happy with them. You can see here the inside of the main gear bays is molded into the inside of the wing uh, great stuff and like I said if, if you take your time with it it goes together well I don't think there would be a lot of issues there then we get a cardboard box with what's gonna hopefully be not broken clear parts and let's see yeah they're all in one piece let's see
Now right off the bat, the one thing I did notice is this this sprue barely fits in this box. But you've got the um, here's the center part between the front and back cockpit, the windscreen. Uh, that goes on the inside of that divider. You've got the landing lights on there, some of the clear parts for the um, that one uh, infrared pod, I believe it is. And then it looks like, depending on the version you've got, there's uh, a different canopy here. Because there's three canopies and you obviously only need two. So I guess we'll find out at some point. Now, I can tell you that the decals in the C kit were not that great. Uh, they didn't react well, they didn't react to setting solution. Forget well. I've already ordered decals from uh, FCM in Brazil. They had a nice set, which look like they're going to be a little bit more doable. So you've got a sheet of photo etch here. Seat belts. Uh, I, this goes on the seat back on the headrests, uh, and I don't know. Oh no, these are going to be the HUD. I bet these are for the headrests, and then you've got uh, some flare dispensers there, and probably some other little stuff. So we've got that. We've got these decals. They're very shiny. They're going to be pretty thick. I mean you can feel it right when you run your finger over them. Uh, like I said, I, I wasn't thrilled with the ones that came in the uh, single seater. I, I already read that this is wrong because it has the same thing on both sides. Uh, and they All they did was mirror the image that was on the tail and that's not how the plane actually looks from what I understand since I haven't really looked at it yet. I mean, they look terrific. If, if they would settle down with setting solution, it probably wouldn't be that bad. Uh, you know, the, the one hallmark for Kitty Hawk is that they give you, um, they'll give you some nice, you know, versions, but since they print all their decals on their own, you're kind of stuck. So these, this three where it has 33 EC, this is all like in between here. You can see the decals and it just looks like you can see like white crackle looking stuff. That's not going to be good. I mean, I, my advice is if you're going to do this kit, get aftermarket decals, unless you're really hot to do one of these special decal versions. Get the directions. And let's see, everything's pretty straightforward. The seat goes together. I had no problem. I used the kit seat on the C and had no problem at all. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if anything jumps off the page here. See now, now we know from looking that there were two different intakes for one side, but it doesn't look like they're giving you options here. They just give you the, they're telling you which one to use on, on each side. So I don't think that they're really doing anything for you there. Then they're giving you this nose and this was that multi-part nose that we were looking at. So there's no differentiation between the two noses. Is the other one just there because? Uh, then they, yeah. See, this is the same thing they did in, in the C kit, optional. But which one goes with which version? Uh, they don't tell you. Uh, the other thing I'll tell you here is, see where they tell you G49 goes between the fuselage and the exhaust? It doesn't. It's you're just gonna put that on there that that doesn't go there for whatever reason they have you putting it there The rest of this looks pretty straightforward. You're gonna like the same thing that I had to do on the C Yeah, optional optional 
you're gonna have to look at the version you want to build and you're gonna have to figure out which antennas to use uh, which nose to use uh, you know which intakes to use all of that stuff uh, then we've got there's a gun pod you're gonna put together you've got fuel tanks they, they don't tell you what any of these things are you kinda have to figure it out for yourself there's missiles all this other great stuff like it's great that they tell you here you know well which one is a matra ma magic 2 you, you're gonna have to Google each one of these so that you know what they're referring to and and again the same thing here they they show you all the all the different pylons and they're telling you optionally which pylons go where but which ones do you use with which item that's for you to figure out oh speaking of which I spoke too soon Here's all the uh, the weapons and stuff. So you've got the 2,000 liter tank, 1,300 liter tank, uh, scalp Apache. Uh, I believe that's an ECM pod. So you're gonna have to figure out if that's applicable here. I don't know what CC630 is. Oh, that's the gun pod. There you go. Uh, which of these missiles would actually be carried by uh, by a Mirage 2000? Uh, good luck. Figure it out on your own. Same with all this other stuff. Uh, and then they give you the pylons. Here's the first version. Uh, they don't really tell you very much. Looks like a vanilla uh, two-seater. Just shows you where all the decals go. Okay, great. So you've got that. That's one version. I think most of these are gonna be dark green and blue or dark green and gray whatever those colors are green and I think it's blue so then you've got the one with the tiger then if you don't want to do green and and gray you've got this uh, desert uh, camo one and then you get into some of these special schemes And by the way, make sure you take these out of the middle of the book because they come, they come jammed in inside. And then you're looking at this, thinking like that looks weird. You know, like two different camos. It's because you have to take them out. So then you get a. This looks like it's just gray. Then you've got the one with the bore on the sides. Uh, you know, if you can get these decals to work, then this would look terrific. But be very wary of them. Uh, another anniversary scheme. Good luck getting that to adhere underneath. Uh, what else do we have? Shark mouth. Uh, let's see. Again, they're all basically the same colors. And see, I kind of like that. That, that looks kind of nice. But is it really, if you, if you find this jet online, I guarantee it's not the same on both sides. So, and then you, there you have it, that weird looking one right there. So that's it. Uh, Mirage 2000. My advice to you is the same advice I, I heeded for the single seater. Uh, whichever version you want to do, do your research. Uh, I know there's a couple of good books on the Mirage 2000 with lots of pictures and uh, I might avail myself of one as well. I saw it on Amazon for like 30 bucks. I The, the title of it escapes me, but uh, I believe it has a lot of close-up pictures. So uh, that being said, thanks for stopping in for this, uh, this inbox. Uh, I promise it'll be one of my rare ones and uh, stay well and I'll see you soon. Take care.